بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم رب زدني علما okay so the next thing uh, we'll try to see the automation origination point so probably in this section i'm going to cover uh, some few things relating to automation originating points and then we'll try to understand what is sdn and sdn controllers and also we'll see uh, what are the different ways we manage managing the traditional networks and how it's going to differ when it comes to managing with your sdn controllers so let's get started here so the first thing we'll see uh, what are the automation originating points so from where exactly you do automation so in the previous sections we know generally uh, in in our company let's say i decided to go with automation now now you have to do the automation nothing but you have to run some kind of scripts or maybe some kind of commands now these things you have to do or you have to start at any one point okay so there are different options where we can we can do the automation like there are three different options but our main focus will be on on the sdn controllers the third one but the first one is we can go with something called on box automation management by using inbuilt scripts like in the basic topics i already covered that we can use something called a uh, tcl tcl scripts tool command language scripts now with the help of this particular scripts we can execute some set of commands and once we execute those specific commands we can save a lot of time where we can specify multiple ip addresses and we can generally do some kind of ping or we can we can execute a set of commands at one at one go so these are like inbuilt scripts present inside your operating system apart from the normal commands what they support so we can run these scripts each of them automatically uh, whenever you want to generate some kind of automatic set of commands or automatically automatic policies by using these built in scripts apart from that we can also use something called embedded event manager now embedded event manager is another uh, inbuilt script inside the cisco operating system which is going to provide you uh, something called real time protection with some kind of detectors a uh, real time detection actually not protection real time detection there are 20 plus detectors present in that like one of the example as i showed you it can detect the log message and according to this log message we can tell our device to automatically execute specific set of commands so again this embedded event manager is also one feature integrated inside the cisco ios software but again the problem with this on box is again it is limited every box supports but still you need to go to each and every device to to automate this specific scripts so which is again something not scalable so we can go with some second option where you can still have some servers which will be running some automation softwares like network automation softwares like what i can go with i can i can place one dedicated server let's say any your of your server maybe a dell or maybe a cisco ucs or any any specific server or hardware and i can install the software automation software which i get from the different vendors uh, like we have something like puppet uh, chef and ansible these uh, these softwares i can install it and this particular software is going to be a gui based like this is a, a sample screenshot of ansible tower that is a software from ansible so this software is going to provide you the management uh, management options with the different types of tools available again and they will provide you some gui based centralized control where you can not only monitor your network we can also run some kind of automated scripts when send the instructions to the devices and also it will provide you some visual visual board same like kind of monitoring but you have a more better control over the network and you can automate automate by using some some kind of servers uh, servers which are running the network management protocols but again the third option is something what will be focusing here 
And the third option will be using something called SDN controllers. Now we'll talk about SDN a little bit more detail in the next section. What is SDN? SDN stands for Software Defined Networking. Now with SDN, we'll be having one centralized device called SDN controller. Okay, now this controller is going to run some kind of software. And this is going to tell how exactly your hardware is going to work. Like the definition wise, we can say SDN stands for Software Defined Networking, where the software is going to control how the hardware should behave or how the how the hardware devices or the networking devices should forward the packets like router switches or or if any security policy you want to apply uh, the software is going to instruct the security policies or any quality of service policies you want to apply so we can say like this is like your brain of your network where all the decisions will be taken or the software is going to control how the networking devices are going to uh, forward the traffic. So we'll, we'll talk about a little bit more in detail with the uh, SDN and SDN control a little bit in our next sections. Okay, so so we will be having a software running here. So the SDN controller with with SDN controller will be having a software. The automation software is running inside the controller. So from the controller, we are going to manage the networking devices. So mostly this SGN controller do support more like uh, SNMP box where you can do some kind of basic monitor, basic, uh, mostly the monitoring. To some extent, you can do some changes. If, if you're using some, some vendors, which they offer some kind of SGN controllers where they can provide you the monitoring statistics like the CPU utilization or the interface status or it can be like bandwidth utilization, these options, just like a monitoring tool, like an SNMP box. Apart from that, you can also push some of the configuration changes to the, towards the devices. But nowadays, most of the SGN controllers or the vendors offering these SGN controllers, they do have more power to control the forwarding decisions on the network. So they can send out the instructions uh, to the networking devices, Based on that, the networking devices will be uh, forwarding the traffic or it will it will figure out some kind of application requirement. As per the application requirement, the networking devices will be making the decisions. So even if from the SGN controller, we can have something called artificial intelligence and the machine learning options. With the help of these options, you can also automate the troubleshooting steps in the form of a simple, uh, easy language. So with SDN controllers, SDN controller is an integral part where, where the SDN controller will be having a software which controls your hardware. And as I said, with the SDN, we, we can, a network engineer can actually shape or tell how the traffic should go from a centralized console where you don't need to touch an individual device here. 